Hello, and welcome to the Porcupine News Network. Today I will discuss with you my journey as I moved from Arizona to New Hampshire as a participant in the Free State Project. As you may already know, the goal of the Free State Project is to get 20,000 Liberty activists to move to New Hampshire. First, I would like to tell you a little about myself. I'm 26 years old, and like many Free Staters, I have a career in technology. I've lived in Tucson, Arizona the last 20 years, and back in April, I married my wife. I became familiar with the Free State Project before a state had been selected. I was very excited when they selected New Hampshire. I could see that New Hampshire had a lot going for it from a Liberty perspective. I was drawn to the Free State Project because of my interest in individual liberty. I believe the government that governs best is the one that governs the least. While Arizonans enjoy a fair amount of freedom, I feel it is deteriorating day by day. There are constitution-free checkpoints with the Border Patrol, and cameras at intersections and on the highway to see if you're running red lights or speeding. I felt that it was really time to get out of Arizona. After I met my wife, we had discussed moving away from the state. She has a very large family and has lived there her whole life. Most of her family still lives there, and we both had a lifetime of friends, as well as great jobs in Arizona. But we knew we wanted to get out. So in January, we decided to visit New Hampshire. We came out and explored the state and checked out some areas we thought we wanted to live. We talked to some locals due to some poor timing on our part. Uh, we weren't able to meet with any free staters, but we loved it. We came in January because it's, it's easy to hate Arizona in July, but it's difficult to leave Arizona in January and see snow and not appreciate the desert. By the time we got back to Tucson, we knew that we wanted to move. When we got back, we started our job search. This was by far the hardest part of our journey. Between the economy and its current state and employers being hesitant to hire someone from across the country, normal job search paths were not working out for us. From January to August, we would take a day or two a month and apply for job openings we thought would work for us that we had found online. I had a few phone interviews and a couple people laughed at me when they found out I was in Arizona and wanted to move to New Hampshire. We weren't getting anywhere. In August, my wife suggested that instead of our planned vacation to Chicago, we instead take a trip to New Hampshire to hand out resumes. I knew I married her for a reason. This was a fantastic idea. That night, I searched around for companies in New Hampshire that were similar to the company I was working for in Arizona. I emailed them my resume and told them I would be in town for a particular date range in October and asked if I could meet with them about any open positions they had. Not two hours later that night, I already had return emails from employers who wanted to set up phone interviews. After going through a couple phone interviews and some Skype interviews with per prospective employers, I had an employment contract in hand. We were ready to go. The only issue was that the company needed me to start work in three weeks. So after much discussion with my wife, we decided I should accept the position. This was the hardest decision of my life. Due to my wife's job, she couldn't move out to New Hampshire with me for another three months, but we decided the sacrifice would be worth it, so we moved forward. After a crazy three weeks, I got in my car with my wife and a buddy and headed to a wedding in Kansas. After the wedding, I dropped my wife off the airport and said goodbye for the next few months. Then my buddy and I got in the car and headed for the free state. 26 hours later, we arrived. I had arranged to rent a room from someone until my wife arrived. So we dropped my bags off there and did the logical thing anyone would do after driving 26 hours straight. That's right, we headed right to Fenway Park to see the Red Sox. My buddy insisted that we go to Fenway if he drove cross country with me. The next morning, I dropped him off at the airport and got settled in. My first week was spent getting acclimated to my new job, my new living arrangements, and meeting other people in New Hampshire in the Liberty community. I don't think anyone from outside the state can realize just how much is going on until you're living here. It's amazing. Already I've made great friends, and if I wanted to on any given week between activist events and social events, I could be busy seven nights a week. Now my wife is out here with me and life is fantastic. In the four months I've been here, I have already enjoyed more freedom than I had in Arizona. For instance, in New Hampshire, if I'm open carrying, as I often do, I can sit down at any restaurant that serves liquor and eat dinner 
Whereas in Arizona, by law, you had to conceal carry. It's nice to have the choice. It's up to me now. It's not up to the state. I have also done a little bit of math and figured out that if we buy a house that costs as much as our house did in Arizona, and I have a job that where I get paid the same, I will save over $4,000 a year in taxes. We are very glad we made the move here, and we're looking forward to a lifetime of freedom in New Hampshire.